Hey guys, this is Ophelion here. Today I just have a short little video of me taping up a pre-made head. So you can see how I tape the head to create the pattern for the fur. This is really basic stuff, not too hard. You can just watch the video and how I do it. It's pretty simple. But this is how you create the pattern for your fur. Use little chunks of tape. You can use duct tape or I usually prefer using masking tape because it's not as wrinkly but duct tape works fine. Most makers use duct tape. Um, it's really up to you. It really doesn't make much of a difference. Once you've taped your whole fursuit head then you draw the pattern of the fur on the tape and then you cut it out. It's really pretty simple. So I'm just going to let this video play and you guys can watch as I go through this whole process and I hope that you enjoy. Thanks! I'm going to quickly explain what I'm doing right here. I am marking the pattern, so if there's any markings like 
For instance, this suit has a spot under the eye and it also has a black muzzle. So I'm marking those areas off. I'm also putting darts in the curved areas. The darts are what you cut off of the pattern to make it lay flat. And once you have the flat pattern, you put it on a piece of paper. I like to use crafting paper. And this is something you'll see me doing later on in the video. But the darts are what you sew together to create the curved shape of the cheek or the muzzle or the back of the head. Another thing that I'm doing is I'm also marking where the pieces come together. So I'm putting darts in along where I'm going to be cutting. So that way when I go to line up the fur patterns later on, I know where the cheek connects to the eyebrow and the eyebrow connects to the muzzle and so on and so forth. This is to ensure that it doesn't get confusing later on once you've marked all this on your fur and you're cutting it out and then you're trying to sew it together and you don't know what piece goes with what. You can't tell if it's upside down, right side up, sideways. So making sure that you're making lots of markings to know where everything is sewn together is good. I also mark arrows in the direction that the fur pattern should be going. So this will give me a good reference to where the cheek is going to sit, whether it's upside down or not. If I look at which way the fur pattern is going. I also mark on the pattern whether it's the left side or the right side of the face. And then I also number the pattern. Numbering it is important, but not necessary. It just makes it easier for me personally.